In this tutorial, we're going to do a quick overview of how to get a published course onto the internet. So uh, when you have a published course, you need to put it on a web server and then you can create a link from that. An effective and cost effective way to do that is with Amazon S3. Uh, that's their Amazon Simple Storage Solution. That's the S3. Um, it's relatively inexpensive. The first year you get like, I think, five gigabytes and then they charge you after that. But the cost per gigabyte is like two cents. So for a typical portfolio, if you spend more than a dollar or two a year, uh, that's going to be pretty high. So it's essentially free. So what we're going to do is look at how to create the Amazon S3 account and get your courses in there. Uh, there's two things we're going to do. The first is you need to create an Amazon S3 account. You get five gigabytes of storage and then you can look at the pricing for that. You're only talking a couple of cents per gigabyte. Uh, so the, the cost is very good for you and so it's going to cost maybe a couple dollars a year. So create that account and then once you have that account, that means you've got a place to store your course. Then you need a way to get the courses uploaded. Uh, you can do that inside your browser. I prefer to use uh, an app. So we're going to use the app, uh, but I'll show you how you would do it in your browser as well. So uh, create your Amazon S3 account, then go to msp360.com and go to Cloudberry and then there's free products. So you want to download Cloudberry Explorer and the free version works fine for this. Uh, you do have a pro version, so you get more features. And then if you have questions after this tutorial, I'm just going to go through the basics. Um, but if you have questions about Cloudberry, you can go to Cloudberry and ask them. They have a, a support form. And the same thing with Amazon S3. If there's more that you want to know how to do or you're running into problems with that, then you can ask uh, for help in Amazon. All right, so let's say you downloaded uh, Cloudberry. And even if you didn't have an Amazon S3 account, you can download Cloudberry and it'll tell you to go get an S3 account. So when you download Cloudberry, you're going to see something like this. On one side, this is where I have my computer file. So this is where my Articulate projects and we're going to we're going to work with this demo course. And then on the other side, I want to add my S3 account. And then all I have to do is drag and drop my courses. Now for me to add my S3 account, I need to do a couple of things. One is I need to have Amazon S3. I, had, I need to have an account. And then the other thing is I need to grant permission to access that. So if you didn't create an Amazon S3 account, you can just come over here and you go to New Storage Account. And you can see there's Amazon S3. Double click on that and then say create account and you can go through the process of creating the account. I already have an account. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in a name so I remember what this is. I'll just say demo courses. And then this is where I need to get the access key or permissions to access Amazon S3. So if you're in your account, you're going to see something like this here. You'll have an S3 folder. I'm going to click in here. This is my dashboard for my account. And we're going to just go over here and you drop down. You can see there's your security credentials. And then you can create an access key and a secret key. Now, if you already have one and you forgot the secret key, that's OK. You can just create a new access key. So I'm going to create a new access key and it's going to show keys. So I'm going to grab my access key first. And then I'm going to go to my Cloudberry. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to grab my secret key. And then I'm going to go back to Cloudberry. And I'm going to add that in here. And I could test the connection. I'm going to say OK. So there it is. Close that out. And then I'm going to access that here, Demo Courses. And if there was an error, I would know. Now, now I'm connected to Amazon S3. What I need is a place to put everything. So in Amazon, they have what they call buckets. So you're going to create a bucket. And it has to be something unique. So I'm going to create a bucket here. I'm just going to call it Demo. And it'll tell you, right, you know, what it needs to be. So I'm going to say Demo Course 01. And hopefully that's unique. Hit OK. 
it looks like that folder's there. So now this is my bucket, and now I can put courses and whatnot in there. So let's say I'm creating a portfolio. I might create a portfolio folder. And this is where I'm going to add all my samples or courses, right? And then inside that folder, I'm going to create one. We'll say course one. So this is course, course one. Hit OK. And then I can open that up. And I'm going to drag the content of this folder here into my course one folder. So I'm going to drag it over. It's going to get uploaded to the internet, right? So you can see it's getting uploaded. And then uh, once it's uploaded, it's online and I can share it. Now we're going to run into an issue because um, that's just what happens. So what I need to do is create a URL or a link. So that's going to be for my story.html. If you have a presentation.html or index.html, uh, we're going to share story.html. Uh, click on web URL or you can right click web URL. I'm going to do HTTPS. And so here's my link, and this is what I would share with somebody. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now what's going to happen is I get this access denied. And the reason I have access denied is because even though I'm connected, I haven't given permission uh, to access anything in that folder. So I need to create a permission for that. And there's a few different ways you can do that. I'll show you two ways. So let's go back to Cloudberry. At the folder level, so let's say we go to our course one. At the folder level, I can give you access. And I would just come over to the ACL settings. And you can see there's my name, Joe Demonstrator, and I have access to everything. I'm going to hit public. And so now the public can read what's in that folder. So they can access that link I'm going to share. And then I want to select subfolders and files. So let me go ahead and hit OK. And what it's going to do is now it's going to change all the permissions for those folders and files in there. So everything in there now is going to allow public access. And when I refresh this link here in a second, uh, here's our file that had no access. And we're going to go ahead and refresh it. And now we should see that I have access to that course. So that's an easy way to do that. That's kind of one of the ways I like to do it, just because this way I don't accidentally give you permission to access something. Um, so anytime I upload it, I just need to give you permission. Now that can be tedious. Like for example, if I come back to my portfolio, and let's say I create a course two folder, and then I have to drag everything over, right? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag everything over, and then it's going to upload. And then I'd have to give it permission again, and that could be kind of tedious uh, to do that all the time. So what we could do is we can create a policy that allows everything that I put in a folder to, um, to be publicly available. So if I come to this here, we're going to do web URL. Let's open the link and we can see there's no access. So we're going to change that with a policy. So let's come back here. Let's go back to our root. And this is demo course one. That's our bucket. So if you select the bucket, you can create a bucket policy. So that's basically instructions on accessing the bucket in a simple sense, right? Now, I'm not a programmer. If you follow my instructions, that works for you. Uh, but if you do a search for bucket policies to access on Amazon S3, you're going to find all sorts of help. So in the Amazon S3, there's a bucket policies. Just do a search and there's a generator. And then it'll generate the policy for you. So you don't need to be a programmer. So go ahead and select your type. This is an S3 bucket policy. We're going to allow uh, principal. Just put asterisks in there. And then the action is we want to get an object. So let's go ahead and look for that get object. Now I'm doing the extent of what I know here. So if it doesn't work, then you're going to have to do it individually. So the ARN is your bucket information. Go back to your Amazon file here. That's not it. This is, this is it right here, right? Let's close that out. Let's come back to our S3. And we're going to find our bucket that we created, which we'll see in here, right? 
if I select this bucket, you're going to see copy ARN. Go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to come back to our policy generator and we're going to paste that in there. Now this is everything you need. The only thing we're going to do is add a slash and an asterisk. And then we're going to go ahead and add that statement. Now I have this one I did before. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So we have the statement we just added. We're going to generate a policy and this is going to give the instructions for that bucket. So let's go ahead and copy that. Now we're going to come back to here. We're going to paste our policy. And if everything's OK, it should work. And we'll know it's going to work because we're going to look at that one course that didn't have access, right? So there's our policy. Let's come back to this course. Access was denied, but we changed the policy in our bucket. So let's see what happens when we refresh it. And there you go. So now anytime I put something in that uh, folder, I come back to my bucket and I'm put it like just do another course just to see if it works. Course three, hit OK. And we're going to open that up. And let's go ahead and copy this in here. Now, if the policy is working, when we create our URL, everything should work fine. So it's uploading. Let's go ahead and do a web URL. Let's open the link and it works. All right, so that's how you do it with Amazon S3 and using Cloudberry. Uh, now what we want to do is, what if I didn't want to use Cloudberry? You can do it on your, in your, uh, uh, right here from inside of Amazon S3. As you can see, here's the bucket we created. And if I open that up, you can see there's all my folder structure and everything. So all you would need to do is you go to your Amazon S3, you'd create a bucket, and then you do this, go through the same process. You want to make sure that you set your public access, right? So you're basically creating a static site. Um, so when you make it available for public, it's going to say, hey, blah, 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 people have public access. And that's okay because it's a static website. And then just acknowledge that. And then you can um, uh, save that and then create a bucket. And then you can, once you have a bucket, we'll come kind of come back in here. Once you're, once you have a bucket, then you can, you know, create folders or whatnot. So we're going to create another folder. We'll call this course four right? Create the folder. And then I would just come in here and then I can upload and I can upload files. I can upload a folder. Let's just go ahead and upload that demo course folder. And we'll upload that. Um, it's all here. Let's go ahead and upload. The one thing I like about the app, the Cloudberry versus doing it this way, the app seems to work a little faster. And I kind of like I can see it better and I can move things and drag things around. I'm not jumping back and forth between the different tabs or links in here. But as you can see, everything's being uploaded and then you would um, go through your files and all that stuff and you can create a link from there. So we're inside our course four and then you're going to see uh, inside that demo course, here's your storyline file and then there's your link and whatnot. And sometimes when you do this, you may find that the permissions are off. So you probably have to go in and change the permissions on that. So that's just a matter of playing around with it. I kind of like, again, working with Cloudberry. I find that to be a lot easier to work and I can drag things from my desktop right into this and drag things in and out of that. So uh, hopefully that works for you. Super easy to do relatively free, easy way to get your courses online and put in a portfolio or share on your website.